Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Star. What's happening? It's your boy Sco. And this is the review show with Star and your boy Sco. What's happening? What's happening, people? Dang go. We got a little something for you, but definitely gotta check out Bay. How you doing, love? I'm doing good. You do. I'm, I'm doing great, right, baby? Look, we talking about the devil's knot today. Movie we caught on Tubi. Heard about it on, I want to say TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. We're going to look at it. Look, we're going to let y'all check the trailer out, man. We're going to get right back with you, all right? That's all right with you. You sang real good, Stevie. Where's the boy? He went out riding bikes with Michael, but I told him he better be home by 4.30. I don't see the boy, no one. Stevie! Come on home! Y'all got anybody out there looking for my we boy? We are doing everything we can. My Should son I... is eight years old! We have three boys missing from Holiday Garden. Stevie! It's a very delicate situation. Can you hear me? I'm in the woods by that little creek they call Devil's Den. <laughs> I found something. Damien Eccles, Jason Baldwin, and Jesse Miss Kelly will be charged in the murders of the three boys we found last month in the Robin Hood Woods. Part of our investigation. We'll need hair samples from the two of you. Take it. Just take it. Just take all of it. This crime is unthinkable. What if they did it? And what if they didn't? Some residents suspect a satanic cult is responsible. <laughs> that look like freaks. My name's Ron Lax. I'm an investigator. Did you kill any of those three boys? No. Those cops are scary. They will do anything to get people to say what they want to hear. I'm acting right. I'm not acting at all, Terry. Are you? What the hell are you talking about? And these boys that you're helping, the police seem so certain. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. Religion gives people who want to do evil the justification for what they do. But did you ever find any evidence to link these murders to Damien? You don't talk to her, understand? I have a right to hear what he says. You're supposed to be a grieving mother. You start behaving like one. You understand why I have to help him? The police, the judge, everybody. This is all just some sort of game to them. Stevie. Would you want three more families to lose their children to? And to actually hear that it was based on a true story really blew me away because basically like three eight-year-old boys was just enjoying their outside time. They ended up getting brutally murdered. Yeah. And um crazy, bro. On top of them being brutally murdered in this small town, you know, they're trying to close the case really fast. Facts. Facts. And so they rounded up these boys who were into like satanic rituals and um, just outcasts, if you really want to look at it like that. In today's time, they would just be labeled as outcasts or whatever. I got you. I got you. They rounded these boys up and, and you know, had all of this evidence against them that they did this to those three, eight little boys. And in my opinion, they locked up yeah. innocent people. I'm just going to be honest with you. In my opinion, they locked up innocent people because yeah. they were trying to close a very brutal case especially it was very sensitive because you got three eight-year-old little boys and they were brutally murdered you know and um right. yeah i wish i mean i i'm with everything you're saying it, it, i think they try to close the case too fast um the biggest thing is they did overlook a whole lot of other stuff. A whole lot of stuff. That they, they could have looked into. And I am I know we're looking at the movie now, and we don't know exactly how everything went when they were handling the case. But if it went that way, they really overlooked some things that they could have looked to see that those boys that they did lock up for this situation just may have not did it, you know? I you know, I honestly think so. If you, when you watch the movie, you're going to see in the very beginning of the movie, there's this African American guy who goes into a Bojangles bathroom and he's bloody, he's muddy. And then, you know, they call the police, the police shows up. The police came through the drive through and was like, Yeah, we'll come and check it out tomorrow. 
Yeah, they did. They didn't make sense of anything, and and the way these boys ended up when they found them that that's what the bad part yeah. of the situation. The, was. Those babies did not deserve that. Yeah. So whoever did it or whatever happened, it, it was it was very brutal. And I I mean just like I said, but locking the wrong people up for a situation is terribly just wrong. Just because they wanted to close the case, yeah. like it really it really made me mad. And then on top of that, I really think that the um, Reese Witherspoons who plays the mom of one of the little eight-year-old boys, um, she started, in my opinion, she started feeling like maybe they had the wrong per the wrong people yeah. um, locked up. But um, she never said anything, you know, as in to, like, stop what was going on or trying to get it further investigated because there was a lot of evidence that they were actually overlooking. Like, they literally had no evidence on the guys that they had in custody, on, uh, on these young men that they had in custody. Because I think the oldest one was, like, 18, and the youngest one was, like, 16. It's just more so when you get in that room, they'll get you to say whatever they, they want you to say. They will get you to say whatever they want you to say. One of them was really declared mentally retarded. And he was just like, yeah, I did it. But he was also just trying to please the officers because they, they had these boys in these holding rooms for like 12 hours, you know. So anyway, um, it is based, Devil's, the movie is called Devil's Knot. It is based on a true story. Catch it on um, Tubi. You can catch it on Tubi, um, YouTube. I even saw that you can catch it on Pluto TV. Yeah, a couple of platforms you can catch it. So, but, uh, I do highly recommend it. If you have not seen Devil's Not, please watch that movie. It, it's going to make you cry. You're going to be angry. Um, but, um... All in all. In this, in, this, in this movie, nobody won. Those babies didn't deserve to die the way they died. And those people uh, who were accused of murdering those three little boys did not deserve to get the death penalty or life in prison. That's just my opinion, okay? Well. Facts. I feel I feel I'm all for it. I'm, I'm with it. That ain't gonna, it, it went, just like I say, it went south, but check it out. You know what I'm saying? Let us know how you feel about it. But, Star, you good? Yeah. I'm good. Yo, just like I say, holla at you. It's your boy, Sco. This is your girl, Star. Man, it's the review show, and you know we review shit. We gonna holla at you, my boy. On this show. Holla!